Hi, this is Rich Harrington, and I have a quick tutorial on making better looking vignettes. With an image selected, I'll choose Filter, Blur, Iris Blur. And this is one of the new blur filters found inside of CS6. I can adjust the size by dragging the corners. Note you can go beyond the edge of the image, pull up to adjust the height, and you can even rotate if you'd like. While you do that, the center control here lets you crank up the blur. Now what's important are these little pins here that affect the transition zone. So you can drag those out, or holding down the Option or Alt key, you can actually drag them manually to position them at a transition distance, which gives you much better control over where the blur begins and ends. All right, that looks really good. I'm happy with that, and I'm just gonna have a little bit of blooming with the bouquet. And the important thing is the options in the top bar here. Save mask to channels and high quality. I'll click OK now to generate the mask and it will save it out as both a blurred layer and an alpha channel, which is going to come in handy because an alpha channel is a saved selection. OK, it's done. Let's go over to the channels panel and command or control click on the mask to load it. And I have an active selection. I'll switch back to layers and click to apply a curves adjustment. Now, a curves adjustment gives you better control over exposure. And what I'm going to do is pull down the shadowy areas there and just get a little bit darker in the mid-tones. And if I toggle that off and on, you see we have a really nice vignette effect that's driving the eye of the viewer. I'll now go ahead and apply that selection again. Let's just deselect there. And I'll choose Select, Reselect. And I could add a Vibrance adjustment and pull down the Vibrance and Saturation for those shadowy areas so they don't have as much color. Again, guiding the viewer's eye towards the center part of the image. All right, that's looking great. I'm going to now select all and choose Copy Merged and then Paste to put a version on top. Let's go ahead and blur that just a little bit. And then we can change the blending mode for that blurred copy. I'm going to set it to soft light in this case. And you see that the shadows get even darker with a little bit of blooming. And it's a very nice vignette effect. All right, I am happy with the end results there. And I am ready to save my image or distribute it. My name is Rich Harrington. I invite you to check out my personal blog at Richard Harrington Blog or follow on social media at Red Pixel, which is R-H-E-D-P-I-X-E-L.